Let's integrate our remove to do into our app. We have it here, the delete button. So let's, we, we already have JQL important. And let's define our remove to do mutation over here. We can just copy the same mutation we had in a graphical and provide this to mutation later on. Let's search for delete button and do pretty much the same we did previously. So we can wrap in mutation and inside we will get basically a delete to do, loading an error, surrender prop. So we can just copy our remove method here and return our UI. So this is our UI, so let's just get it here and here you go. So we have our remove method and we need to pass mutation as remove to do. So far, everything is good. Now what we will do in our remove function. We will do the same as we did with the, with the checkbox. We can uh, check if it's loading, we will return nothing. And otherwise we will execute delete to do and we'll provide variables this time in different way. Provide an ID, item ID. So like so. Let's reload our app and just delete this to do. Reload it again and to do is not here anymore. But we, uh, so we don't have cache updates and what we need to do is update our cache. Remember that we, uh, we've done it previously by just specifying update prop and inside we will just try this function as it is. So we'll get the cache and uh, what we want to do, we want to get the data, right? So we get the data from the cache by executing read query. And we will provide fetch to do's and we'll provide fetch to do's here with variable is public. So far nothing changed. We also need to import uh, this fetch to do's from to do's. Now we've been delete button. So we got our data. Now our new data will be basically to do's and we will filter our uh, to do's by just checking an ID. be not equal to item ID. Now we have this new data. Now we need to write to the cache. Query will be fetch to do's. And variables will be is public. Again, and the data that we want to write will be our new data. Let's check this now. And we see our cache is updated. 